Woodcraft Magazine, making woodworking more enjoyable for woodworkers everywhere. Hi, I'm Paul Anthony, Senior Editor at Woodcraft Magazine. In issue 68, I wrote an article called Chisel Rescue in which I show how to restore a beater chisel like this one with its rust, its pits, nicked edges, and poorly ground bevel into a finely cutting specimen like this one with its flat polished back, nicely ground bevel, and perfectly honed edge. Um, now, restoring a chisel involves three basic steps. The first one is flattening and polishing the back, and that's done on honing stones. The second is shaping the bevel on a grinder, and the third is honing that bevel on honing stones. Um, now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to shape the bevel on a grinder for the complete operation, including the honing of the back and of the bevel referred to the article. Now, grinding a bevel involves uh, a few tools here, the first of which is a slow speed, about 1725 RPM grinder outfitted with a solid tool rest. Now you'll also need a handful of other small tools, including a diamond face dresser, like this one. Another very handy tool to have is a bevel gauge to help you establish the angle of your bevel as you grind it. You'll also want a small machinist square to help you grind the end of the chisel square to the sides. Very importantly, get yourself a magnifying loop so that you can see what you're doing. Uh, a 10 power loop is just about perfect. Lastly, you need a way to cool the steel while you're grinding it. Now rather than quenching metal in water, which can fracture a thin edge, I like to use a heat sink that I scavenged from an old computer. Now I'm going to provide sources for all of these tools at the end of this video. Uh, so let's begin the demonstration here by showing you how to grind the end of the chisel square to its sides. Now normally, keep in mind, you would do this after having flattened and polished the back of the chisel, but for purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to skip that and use this old beater chisel. All right, so I'm going to use this diamond face dresser to clean the face of this wheel at the same time shaping a slight crown in the edge. Now this is a soft bond wheel, 120 grit. Uh, this will cut much more cleanly and coolly than your typical uh, vitrified gray wheel. That should do it. All right, so now I'm going to grind the end of the chisel just a bit to square it up to the sides and to remove any nicks in the end, or in this, in this case, to remove the rolled over edge. Now to guide the chisel as I grind it, I'm gonna register the second joint of my index finger against the front of the edge uh, of the, the tool rest and feed it back and forth. Now, uh, in order to make this smooth, clean any crud off of your tool rest and the top of your chisel so that it'll, it'll move relatively friction-free. All right, now I'm going to check this with a square. I'm pretty good. And I've created a little bit of a flat on the end here. I've removed the rolled over edge and the nicks. Next, I'm going to grind the bevel. So I'm going to grind the bevel like this, as before, pinching the tool between my fingers here with the second joint of my index finger serving as a fence against the front edge of the guide. Now, the way to tell 
the, the way to target your bevel, because you want the tool to land right in the center of the bevel, what I do is use a marker here to mark the end of it. And now I'm going to approximate where I think that should be. And I've got the bevel against the wheel. I think that's about right. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm near the center of the bevel. Now, I'm going to feed that back and forth. This is producing a nice bevel. Now it's starting to get a little warm. I'm going to real quickly cool this by resting it against my heat sink. Now it's really important, don't lose your grip as you continue to grind. All right, so I've got what appears to be a pretty nice bevel here. However, I'm going to scrutinize it with my loop and I can see that, yes, I've got a very nice edge on this. It's just a hair's width. It's beautiful. The bevel itself is nice and even across the face of it. And this chisel is ready now for the honing stones. So there you go. That's the basic process of grinding a chisel. So uh, good luck with yours. And just remember, practice makes perfect.